We are in the Lenten season and it is praiseworthy that we do penance and sacrifice to atone for our sins. But do penance and sacrifice have all the utility that we imagine? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. I would like to share a short story that I came across recently. A young girl, ill-fed, was seen on the streets, weary, exhausted, and completely worn out. To make things worse, the day was extremely hot and humid. But what called people's attention was that she was carrying a tiny boy who appeared to not have one limb one of his legs. Apparently, that was why she was carrying him amidst all the tiredness that she was already facing. A woman, trying to be kind, reached out to the girl and asked her if the young boy was not too heavy for her. Her reply left many awestruck, for with a very simple smile on her face, she answered, He is my brother. She did not complain that she was tired, ill-fed. Neither did she whine that the day was too hot and humid. She did not even moan that the young boy was quite heavy for her, not, nor murmur against the fate that he was born crippled. None of that. She just replied, He is my brother. What a lesson she imparted to many who surrounded her such a young age. This is the same lesson that our Lord teaches us in today's Gospel, when one of the scribes comes up to him and asks which is the most important commandment. Our Lord replies to him that after the love of God above all things, the most significant commandment is love for our neighbour. This is exactly what the young girl was practising love for our neighbour. How many times we don't treat one another the way we would like to be treated just because we were tired, weary or exhausted? Or the occasions in which we manifested our bad mood just because we had a tough time at work? Or even exposed our bad humour to others due to some suffering we were facing? How many times have you lost your temper because of some shortcoming of your neighbour, your spouse, your child or your siblings, instead of bearing their weaknesses with Christ-like patience, trying always to keep in mind that they are children of God? If this is not practised, our sacrifices, our penances, our prayers will do us no good. Neither will they gain for us the atonement for our sins. This is what even the scribe adds when he repeats our Lord's words regarding the commandments. To love your neighbour is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. Let's use today's liturgy to keep a check on how much we really love our neighbour. If we truly wish to atone for our sins during this Lent through our sacrifices and penances. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.